Hey folks, your OS Reviews. You're watching just our unboxing of the Huey. This is a monitor color correction tool that came out a few years ago, but you can still be found on Amazon or eBay. Now, there's actually two versions of the Huey. This is just the regular variant. There's also a Huey Pro. The hardware is the same, but it comes with slightly enhanced software that works with a wider range of displays from CRTs to traditional LCD panels. So what the Huey is, it's a, again, as the name suggests, a color correction tool, and this could be something worth investing in if you are constantly printing out images or if you're an artist working with uh, you know content that's digitally displayed on your monitor and then when it's loaded onto a different screen you know recalibrated or printed out it looks completely different this promises to give you the most accurate representation of colors as you're working on your monitor by having sensors embedded on the top that will recalibrate the uh, image you know that takes roughly 30 seconds or so and adjust things depending on your background the room you you're in, uh, you know, how bright your room is, and, and so on and so forth. So it's a pretty smart solution. I think I like the concept more than anything. And this type of color you know, calibration tech, you know, has been around for a few years now, and sometimes more expensive monitors will include it, uh, you know, as part of the packaging, but this is one of the dedicated versions that you can pick up and, you know, pair with something like a laptop or an, an external monitor, again, if you're an artist or you really care about color accuracy. So here are some basic images before and after that uh, claims at least to reduce some of the, the oversaturation of the light and make it seem more natural. And you can make color more accurate for photographs, designs, games, movies, and web browsing. So if it, if it can really do all those things, then I would say it's worth it. The pro version retailed at the time for 200 bucks, and the regular version here was only about 80 bucks or so. Now the street price is under 50, so it's still uh, relatively you know inexpensive for an interesting accessory in my opinion. It features suction cups so they can mount it onto the display when it's calibrating everything and then you have the color sensors and anti-scratch kind of felt material just plugs and play using simply USB and then has the software CD and documentation as well. There's a little cradle that you can use it uh, to pop it onto the side when you're not using it and some bit of reading on the back as well. Same goes for reds, greens, and every color in between. What you're seeing on screen isn't necessarily accurate, it also depends on your monitor. So we'll have to see if this actually works out in our full review. But anyways, interesting enough for the claims. Sliding it out, we have a plastic container on the inside that's actually quite slick and hard to remove, but right on top we have the documentation. It looks like step one, there are what well, looks like LCD screen and computer screen cleaners. So these are probably like microfiber cloths or some kind of uh, alcohol pad that wipes off the display. And again, it should work with most of your monitors that you have. And then indeed, we have a microfiber cloth and probably some wet wipes to remove it of any lint and dust so that it can attach physically onto the screen when it's doing the calibration process, which again, takes about 30 seconds and it glows through various colors and then calibrates it uh, according to your environment. It's actually a pretty cool animation sequence from what I've seen online. This is the software CD version 1.0.5 and what looks like a separate disk for Windows and Mac OS. So this might be drivers, whereas this is the actual software. This is the documentation quick start guide. Everything that you get in various languages and how to set it up. So again, this is what the calibration process looks like with the app is like when it's running and then you would just stick the Huey onto the surface um, and it would go through its color sequence. Kind of interesting. The design of the Huey really reminds me of a pen, kind of like a smart pen. In fact, when I was talking about this with some friends the other day, they thought that it was a smart or a digital pen instead of being a color uh, calibrator for monitors. So here's the stand company's logo on the bottom. This is actually a pretty flimsy stand that's made out of plastic. It feels kind of lightweight, but it works and manages a cable. This is the USB cable, and we should pop out the Huey here. Finally, there's just a, what looks like an extension cable for the USB so that we can uh, make the distance longer if I'm connected to a, let's say a desktop or something like that. So here's the Huey itself. It is very small, and you can see that indeed we have the suction cups on the other side, micro suction cups that will adhere to a flat surface, plastic or glass. And then we have kind of a felt material that features finally the sensors, I believe, for the color, 
and maybe another sensor for the outside or the exterior of the room, uh, depending on your room environment and of course the actual brightness or dimness of your display. So it uh, probably senses things from both sides. The Huey logos on the side, there's a few LED indicators that tells you the status as it's uh, connected to power and going through the modes. And the main thing is made out of a polycarbonate plastic that feels reasonably well built. It's actually quite lightweight though. And there's just the logo. The wire here is again tied to a traditional USB 2.0 port that will eventually connect into your computer. And when you're not using it, you can probably dock this into place and then adjust the tilt like so. That's actually pretty interesting. Uh, almost reminds me of a microphone now that it's been docked. So certainly we'll test it out, look through the software, as well as uh, do some performance testing, tell you guys whether it actually works or not as far as calibrating the color. But uh, for now, this has been just our unboxing of the Huey, a pretty interesting color ca calibration tool uh, that might be worthwhile now that the price has dropped dramatically. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.